this is just a show to show you the best way, in my opinion, to maintain and clean your coop. As you can see, I have it's billboard vinyl on the floor, and it's I also have chips and peat moss underneath. Is there you can see the vinyl. I'm just going to show you how to clean this coop lickety split. Okay, as you can see, I've, we've cut a hole in the door or made a door with the siding. But Jeff also suggested that I just cut this whole side. So then I just raise it up when I get ready to clean. So now you can see I've got the whole side raised. You can see I've just flipped those up and I have little latches to hold them. Now I'm going to drag the tarp out. You can see as I go, I kind of fold, fold it in on itself because then I will drag it to my compost pile. So then with the things in the corners, which if you would tack the vinyl up, you wouldn't have this. You can either use a broom or a uh, shop vac to get rid of all that. So when you have this all off and you put it back, it's a good time to spray it. Sorry. It's a good time to spray it with ivermectin or Promethrin, Electror, PST, but I had just recently done that. You just lay this out, looks really good. Here's what it looks like before I put the shavings and peat moss back in. I don't spread it out a whole bunch because the chickens, they love to do that. I'll put some mealworms and in here and they'll just go to town. All in all, it took probably 10 minutes to do a really good cleaning of the coop. Okay, here it is on the outside. You see it looks all nice. All I gotta do is close it.